guys in the fast lane here. Today I'm getting ready to rip out my low impedance setup. I'm taking out the old injectors, which I'm running on this setup 550cc injectors. They're old RX7 injectors, purple tops. They came off, I believe, an 87 or 88 Mazda RX7. Now, with low impedance injectors, you have to run a resistor. If you don't run a resistor, then you're going to end up frying your ECU, whether it's a S100, 200, 300, or you're running Chrome, Neptune off of a P28, you have to run a resistor. Just, you have to. So, I'm switching to high impedance injectors, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. I'm going to show you how I routed and ran mine. It's a pretty clean little, just one plug setup and you're done. So the first thing is your resistor pack. If you're wondering where I got this one, a junkyard. Any Honda Civic, I believe it's 95 and under, OBD1, they all have it. Basically what I did is I went down to the junkyard and I pulled, I think from a 92 or 93 Honda Accord. They have a wiring harness that plugs into the back of the main harness. It's a long, I believe it's a 24 pin and it comes right out and then um, I cut the wires off and I rewired it to the other end of this. I took this off of a Civic, I cut, left the plug in and I cut the other side of the plug. Then I can rewire that plug into the main harness on the Honda Accord harness. So here's the main, main plug. As you can see it's got two plugs. This one's just a test plug and then another one comes in the back here. And this is what I made. This is off of the Civic right here to the main harness. And this one right here, this plug right here, I believe it's a 24, 22 or 24 pin. Oh, let's see here. It's not going to tell me. Anyhow, I took this one and I ran this back to this right here. This is the other side of that resistor pack off of the Civic. So I cut it off and then I cut this one off right here. I got as much length as I could from the cord and then I wired it in. If you're wondering how I mounted this thing, basically I, I believe this was straight up and I bent it out. This is from the factory on the Civic. I bent it flat then I stuck it right here. I took out one of the 10 millimeter bolts on the uh, clutch reservoir, slide it in there and then bolt it in and it kind of sits there and then it can run straight down. Here's what it is, the resistor pack and it comes like this on the Honda Civic just like that and you're going to want to leave both clips in and you're going to cut it off the Civic a little further and you have, let's see, I think you have five, let's see, one, two, okay you have four red wires and you got one yellow. Alright now how this works is you have to go to your injector clips. The first thing we need to do is we need to set our multimeter to continuity. So we'll set it to this little uh, sound wave right here and I need to select it so I gotta hit select until I see a sound wave over here. Now this is for the digital multimeter and what that does is when you touch the two terminals together it's gonna beep and let you know that you're touching the same terminal on the other end. So what you're going to do first is you're going to find all the yellow black wires on this harness that we pulled out. So here's a yellow black, yellow with a black stripe. You're going to take all four of those wires and you're going to run them through here. You're going to split the ends, you're going to twist them and you're going to solder them all together. And then you're going to take all those wires and on the resistor end right here there's a solid yellow with a black stripe. And you're going to take all those yellow black wires and solder them to just that one right there that one yellow black okay so I counted the pins this is actually a 20 pin off of an accord a 90, 92 to 94 somewhere in there the square cords you know you can get them off the four doors anyhow so here's how it's gonna go down we take this before it's plugged into here and we plug this into our Honda Civic harness now the harness is exactly where I just unplugged it from earlier in the video right underneath the fuel injector clips and under the intake manifold. So we plug this in. We turn the key on the car. Not to where it's priming fuel, but enough to engage the voltage to the injector clips. Once we did that, 
we take our continuity, we plug one into the clip right here. Obviously not the yellow ones, just look at your clips. If they have the same colors, those are the ones you don't want to touch to because those are just going to be uh, the positive. So what we do is we put it in here. So this one's not yellow, this one's a green one. We touch it to here. And then we take our other end, which will be the ground. And then the wires are going to be spliced, obviously. And we're just going to keep touching the wires until it beeps. When it beeps, okay, that's one injector wire. Take the continuity tester, put it to the next injector clip. Put that in there, touch the wires till it beeps. Once we get all four, they could be any color, it really doesn't matter what color they are. And we take all four of those, and then we, on the resistor right here, we take one of the red, tie it into one of those injectors, take the next one, tie it into that one, and so forth. So you got four of them, take all four of those wires, one per wire, you don't muster them all up like we did with the yellow wire, you do one each. Solder them in, make your nice little harness, and you're done. That's pretty much all there is to it. It changes the resistance.